Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be going back to 1950. This is a very rare fight of Kimura. Usually if you look at their names in Japanese, you might find some extra footage. Unfortunately, I wish there is some archive that has all these footage, but you work with what you can work with. And so this is a fight between Kimura and Yamaguchi. Uh, we have two angles of this fight. So here the first one is from 1950. Uh, the first one is a very quick Osotogari, very high quality clip for the time. You see Kimura goes down with his Osotogari and then follows it. You see he's trying to grab the head, but he couldn't as Yamaguchi is pushing. And so he wraps the arm, then it cuts there to him getting the cup. And luckily we have another angle. So I got this footage from Masuda's channel and you can see here it's the same one, follows it down, tries to wrap the head, couldn't, but uh, goes underneath the arm and then changes the angle a bit diagonally. So it looks like a Kuzure Kami Shiho Gatame. Let's see it again, but slowly. So I don't know if the full fight is available. I'm sure it is, but where is it? I have no idea. So. You see Kimura here punches down the mat as he goes down with his O Soto Gari, his favorite technique. And then from there, he finishes with a pin immediately. And again, I don't know about the rules, but that throw should have scored some Ippon uh, or anything close to it. But again, I do believe the, the old days, the standard for the throw was much higher. So, uh, it was not an Ippon apparently. So, O Sotogari, we will see it uh, in just the traditional sense. So, you grip sleeve lapel, you go to the side, and then you kind of pull towards you, and then you take the lapel down as you reap the leg. So, you create this wheel motion on that leg that you reap. So, you have one force that is pushing down and the leg reaping upwards, but it's important to bring them towards you. So, this is the classical form as you are seeing here. You have this type of arch that you create with your hand in order to get someone down. However, Kimura's O Sotogari, you see it's a straight line down, punching the mat as Saito says it. So uh, whether it's Uchimata or O Sotogari, it's punching the mat. And here you see why it was so devastating to the point where his opponents sometimes during practice would tell him, please, can you not do it? So here you see the punch to the face. It's important. You can do it also from double lapel. It's really the control of the head. You see, Osotogari for me, at least, it's about overwhelming the upper body and not so much reaping the leg. Reaping the leg comes really towards the finish and you, you don't even have to reap it you can just top your leg and then it becomes otoshi but it's really about overwhelming the head so here you see he is demonstrating that you have to punch the face so to speak and then downwards and that's the power of o sotogari it's really about overwhelming the upper body and planting them down there's more work with the hands in my opinion than the foot the foot comes at the last second uh, after the upper body is overwhelmed and that is the secret to why Kimura's Osotogari was so devastating a lot of people now they just circle someone and catch them which is okay of course because not everyone is as strong but uh, if you want to create this devastating blow he was both highly technical and also highly skilled and very powerful judoka so if you have anything to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon this was shady and thank you for listening